Hello, my name's Justice. If you already don't know who I am, there's probably three things that you need to know about me. I run, which makes up a third of my personality. I love lizards because they're my favorite animal. And I have a best friend named Victoria. And this is why I think she deserves a little spotlight in my life. I love her to pieces and we're practically family. Our friendship started around the beginning of 2018, maybe around the end of 2019. And it was when we were sophomores in high school, somewhere around, somewhere around that time. We met through going to Southeast Christian Church and we started getting closer after I broke up with my first boyfriend. There was a lot of drama in the church as well as in our friend group, so we ended up bonding over that together and getting closer through that. We had church on Sunday and two groups on Wednesday at her house that I started going to junior year. After more drama between both of our close friends, we ended up being the only ones close to each other in the end. I started hanging out with her every weekend, or almost every weekend. Her house began to be my second home, and my house was just another getaway. We did everything together, from going to the store, going on random car rides, drives, pranking each other, going to different parks, dyeing her hair at random moments, going to the gym, forcing her to go running with me. So, <laughs> we low-key just hopped the eastern fence. Um, if we die, <laughs> someone tell my dog I love her. Or even just messing around at her house. We also worked together at Starbucks for almost two years, and every shift was a blast. The late nights to early mornings, we would be glued at the hips, to the point where people even thought we were dating. I've been there through her breakups, and she's been there through mine. We've seen each other at our worst and at our best. I've been to all her birthdays and practically been t and we've practically been together for all of mine. She's done my makeup multiple times. I've been to her family vacations to North Carolina. Don't take the fence down. Don't take her leg. Don't bang her head against the fence. Oh, uh, come on, come on. Oh. I've been to her brother's wedding. We've gone flying in a helicopter. And my favorite memories are from when COVID hit and I got to live at her house for a couple months. When we were locked down, every day was a party at her house. Her family is my family and they accept, and they accept me for who I am. My nickname is Juice to them because of an inside joke that we have. And we all call each other ho and it's totally normal to a point where we forget other people might take us seriously. I have a bruise. I don't need to see it right now. Oh, that's big bruise, isn't it? Yeah. Juice punched you? Yeah. 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 Home. <laughs> I call her dad Jelly, and Sally will always be my second mom. They have done so much for me, I could never know how to repay them. I guess I just have to keep being best friends with their daughter and trying to keep her out of trouble. She helped me decide to go to Bellarmine, and I've seen her off to her college Lipscomb in Tennessee many times. At one point, we even got COVID at the exact same time, and I'm pretty sure I was the one who gave it to her. We've had our ups and downs, but we've always stuck with each other. We know everything about one another, and secrets are non-existent between us. She knows me so well that I can't hide my feelings, and we could never get away with a lie to one another. Even though I don't get to see her every week now that we are both in college, we have the occasional texts and FaceTime, mostly because she's horrible at responding. But when we do see each other during breaks or during her random visits, it's like we never left. I've also been there before she was lactose intolerant and before she couldn't eat soy. We were vegetarians together for the longest time because I got her to do it before starting to eat meat again. And she's been there for me with my sister for my 21st birthday. And I've even been there when she's gotten her first tattoo. I can't wait until I get a car so I can return the favor to drive her places and surprise her at Lipscomb. I also can't wait until she turns 21 in July so I can be there for her like she was there for me. We've had a lot of firsts together and I hope that we will still be friends until the end of time. 
I can't wait for the time when I get to say something sappy at her wedding or even when I get to be the aunt for her kids because Lord knows I'm not having any of those. I love her with all my heart and she will always be the biggest hoe that I know. I love you, Victoria.